All right, what's going on guys? I am Banker from Custom Offsets, and today we're doing a little video on some tires, not just any tires, but two of the most popular current all-terrain tires on a budget. So basically what I mean by budget all-terrains is let's say, you know, tax returns got back, either the wife will only let you spend a little bit, or maybe you really only did get a little bit back. Both of these wheel and tire packages are gonna be right around the $3,000 range. So we'll get into them a little bit more specifically, but over here on my right, we've got the Radar Renegade AT5 on the good old Fuel Maverick. And on my left, we've got the Amp All-Terrain AT Attack A's. Again, 35, 12 and a half on a 20 by 12. This one's gonna be on the Ballistic Rage. So both same size, both similar wheels, similar pricing, very different tires. So let's get into each one and then we're actually gonna throw them on the truck and take them for a ride. All right, so we'll get an overall height measurement here. Now remember, this is off the vehicle, so you are gonna get some squat on the vehicle, especially this, this tire uh, being a 121 load index is gonna have a lot more sidewall flex. So it looks like we've got an overall height of about 34 and a quarter. So obviously none of these tires are gonna be real true 35s, but this one's about 34 and a quarter tall. So we're going to actually do a measurement of just the tread width itself. Um, obviously we're gonna have a little bit of stretch here because it is an all-terrain, a 12 and a half on a 12 wide. So this would give you a more square setup with more aggressive tire. Being an all-terrain, just a little more rounded off. So our tread width right here, will be a little aggressive. We'll call it 10 and three quarters on the tread width. And the overall width of the tire from side lug to side lug here is about 13 inches. So again, remember a 35, 12 and a half is more or less just a size range. So this one actually measures 34 and a quarter, 13 inches side lug to side lug, 10 and a three quarter inch actual contact patch. So let's compare this one to our radar over here. All right, so for our overall height here, and again, remember, it's off the vehicle. You're gonna get a little bit more uh, flex out of the tire when it's, when it's on the vehicle. We'll do another measurement then, but this one does have a little bit thicker sidewall. So this one's gonna be, this one's more like 34 inches overall height. So quarter inch lower than the amp over there, but it does have less tread depth on it as well. Again, more traditional AT aside from the amp. So our tread width, we're looking at, oh, if we go to the wide blocks, why don't we? 10 and a quarter, so very similar in the width there. And then side lug to side lug. It's much, there's not much of a side lug here. So let's call it letter to letter. We're about 12 and a half inches. So much more true to size with the 35, 12 and a half. And again, more of an all-terrain style. That's enough talking about them. Let's throw them on the truck and see how they perform. All right guys, so we're gonna start with the AMP Terrain Attack, ATAs, and the Ballistics. So this road's completely snow covered in this lane anyway. It's just... Got a little spin. Again, this truck weighs, you know, as much as a tank, so. Not stellar grip, but it did hook pretty quickly on this road, which is basically just an ice road. So that's not too bad. That's actually better than I was expecting. I mean, they are full, full, full tread. So now we're getting up cruising speed. You can definitely hear the hum. And it's, it's gonna be the voids in that tread design, the air coming across, and especially being 12 wide that they stick outside the fender. The more air you have coming across those voids, you're gonna get that, that tire noise. Not loud noise, obviously, if you had the radio on with the exhaust, you're not even gonna hear the tire. Um, very little feedback in the steering wheel. A lot of times these more aggressive tires, you can you can feel it in the wheel, you can feel it in the floor. Um, that may just be because this truck rides a little tad bit rough to begin with being a torsion bar truck. Um, and Dustin's steering wheel isn't exactly as tight as it is, was when it came off the factory 15 years ago, but Overall, not as uh, not as aggressive feeling as they look. So that's kind of nice. Uh, one thing to note on these amps is, if you remember, we talked about load rating, and these are a 121 load index. So if you have a vehicle with TPMS, 
Uh, these tires max out at 65 PSI. Your typical three quarter one tons are gonna want 60 feet, 65 to 80 PSI. So you're gonna have some warning lights uh, and you won't be able to haul to your max capacity either. The, the tires in, you know, legal terms, not gonna hold up to that weight. Will it hold up the weight of the truck? Absolutely, because you probably pull something small and by small, I mean like a decent sized boat. Yeah, you're safe because it's the same load rating as a 1500. But are you going to throw a gooseneck on here with two cars and truck it down to Texas for the show? Wouldn't recommend it. It's a pretty smooth ride, all things considered. I mean, Dustin does have a BDS kit on this truck, but that soft sidewall, that 10 ply sidewall, you can definitely feel the truck float a little bit more because that tire's got a little bit more give. And we didn't air them to the max height either. And these things are sitting at like 50 psi. So, a little noisy, overall a plush ride, and uh, decent traction. I mean, definitely a contender as far as all-terrain tires go. So now we've got the amps swapped out. We've got the radars on the fuels. Again, these are gonna be more traditional all-terrain style. So it'll be interesting to see how these two really compare. We're gonna go hit the same roads we just did and see what these ones do. We also do have the same uh, problem again of hearing nothing but Duramax straight pipe exhaust. Dustin. Sounds good. All right, the, the roads are a little drier than we were on before, so we gotta find uh, find some wetter roads so we have an accurate comparison. Hopefully the sun hasn't really hit this one over here that was snow covered before. So from a stop, much less slippage. She definitely hooked a lot faster. A lot less slippage on these bad boys, which I, you know, you would expect with the amount of siping that these tires have, they're definitely going to stick a lot better than the wide open, big flat surface of those amps. Being more of a traditional all-terrain as opposed to more of a hybrid that the amp is. Alright. Once we get past all the Diesel noise, we'll see what the tires actually sound like on the road here. So this is just your normal in-town drive. We're doing about 40 miles an hour here, 35, 40. And very, very minimal tire noise. I mean, it kind of just sounds like the wind going by. It's definitely not a, it doesn't sound like an aggressive tire noise. And again, same as with the amps, there's not a lot of feedback from that more uh, subdued tread pattern on there. So you don't feel it in your feet, you don't feel it in the steering wheel. You do feel every single bump because Dustin hasn't switched this out to a coilover yet. <laughs> He's in the back seat. So as we get up to highway speed here, I can get off the gas. Definitely some tire noise, and again, it's because they're so wide, but it just sounds like it's really windy outside. It's not a howl, it's not, it, it doesn't sound like an aggressive tire, it just, it sounds windy. And again, that's so much tires outside the fender that the wind is coming across it. If you had these things underneath the truck, I don't think we'd hear them at all, much less feel them by any means. Very smooth riding tire. You see, uh, we have a roundabout here, and I have a feeling how it's going to handle the roundabout. We'll go around it, and then I'll talk about it. Yeah. So, being that this one's a 12-ply compared to the 10-ply, you can definitely feel 
the sidewall stiffer when you go around the roundabout. The tire, you don't have as much tire roll. You can't feel it in the wheel of the truck, the, the wheel roll, the tire rolling as you come around the turn. So that's the other nice thing is these tires are 125 load index, which means they're 12 ply load range F and they have a max PSI of 85. So you can get, if you have a newer truck with the TPMS sensors, you can put these under there. They'll haul what you need to haul for the most part, unless you have some crazy heavy you know, uh, apparatus that you're hauling around. And your TPMS light won't go off because you'll have appropriate pressure for the vehicle. So that is one upside of these tires. So I mean, these tires are pretty close comparison overall as far as ride quality and noise and traction goes. So it's going to be hard to pick a winner. We'll talk about that when we get back. All right, guys, so that kind of wraps up our tests. We went through both of them, looked at all the attributes. We, we drove on them. And uh, I got to say, they're both pretty fair options um, at being the same price point. Now, if we remember, we talked about price. These are both sub $1,300 tires, which brings these tire wheel and tire packages on the ballistics and the fuels to right around three grand all in for a set of four on both of these. You know, the, the amp is definitely more of a a show tire it's got the aggressive looks without the aggressive sound and then the radar over here is more of the the working man's all-terrain you know it's it's your standard all-terrain tire and it performs like it so they're both winners right and if this was a dustin video he'd say that's the end they're both great tires go buy them but i don't play that i'm gonna give the win to the radars over here couple of reasons remember the amp while being a good looking tire only has a 121 load index that really limits the trucks you can put this on and things you can do with that truck. The radar over here comes in both options, a 121 or a 125 load index, an E rating or an F, so a 10 ply or a 12 ply, making this tire much more versatile. And if you're over the age of 40, you can get these in white ladder tires. They're just on the inside right now, but they have white ladders. That's unheard of these days. You won't believe how many people like that. So for those simple reasons, and you know, the better all-terrain performance, right? Again, show tire, performer. In this shootout, for all-terrain tires, I'm gonna give it to the radar. Now remember guys, all of these wheels and tires, your amps, your radars, your fuels, and your ballistics, and hundreds of other brands, you can pick them up, customosis.com. Peace.